bits Goa for uh, bringing me to Goa in a season when everyone rushes in. So it's uh, you know, really nice to be here. I, how I founded Faking News and all that, I would, I won't really go only about that because the topic is unheard, uh, you know, doing something that's different from the herd, different from the crowd. And I have a little bit of, you know, experience, uh, limited successes, l some failures in that. And I'm going to talk about my journey, uh, you know, and uh, what mistakes I made, how I decided to do something that was not to be the part of the crowd, what, uh, you know, uh, what were the factors that took me uh, into that. And perhaps, you know, there could be something which you could associate with. If you are planning to do something, you could do that or you could not repeat that, what I did. Uh, so, so my talk is going to be about that in case there was any confusion what I was going to do. Uh, and yeah, even though I, my hands are free, I'm not going to perform any act because I don't know any. So, uh, so, so first thing, uh, you know, the, the first, um, uh, I would say some, something, so everyone present here has not done that mistake which I did. And that was that I had decided that if I have to do engineering, I would do only from IITs. And I wasted one year of my, uh, you know, life or education after 12th, when I thought, no, I have to get into IITs only. Now, obviously, none of you are that foolish. So we start with, uh, you know, bits, bits go a one, Rahul Roshan zero. So this is the score with which we, uh, we are starting. And uh, obviously, why, why was that? You know, why, why IITs only? That was a herd mentality, you know. I come from Bihar. And uh, okay, <laughs> half of the people have got it. So, <laughs> you know, and tomorrow I'm turning 38. I didn't want to say that. So, so you can imagine, you know, the, the generation that I come from. I hope Bihar has changed since then. But you have to be either an engineer or a doctor. And in, in that also, IIT is the must have, you know. When I didn't know anything, brilliant tutorials, is it still around? You know, th those things were coming around. So, uh, and you know, my friends were getting into IITs, so I decided, no, I have to get into IIT only. You know, and that was my first herd mentality, and I decided that no, you know, I have already wasted one year of uh, my life after 12th. I'm not going to do it again. So when you b want to break from herd, what, what do you do? How do you really figure out what you want, actually want to do and not do something just because your friends are doing? Bec you know, the, the most basic thing, the most important thing is to explore different things. You know, now again, why I talked about my age, even though I don't want to talk about that, is because in those days we had dial-up connections, you know, and <laughs> Google was, you know, 98, I think that, that was still formed. So what? How do I ex uh, do, uh, explore other things? So there were two things uh, that was available. One was, you know, it was post-liberalization, so new, uh, sorry, yeah, new uh, TV channels and all that was coming. So I could just see that, you know, and news channels would, uh, would be there. And my father's library. My father is a, a literature, uh, you know, professor in literature. So I, you know, out of just curiosity, even though I hated all this poetry and composition while in school, I suddenly became very interested in, you know, the novels and all that. And uh, the other thing I liked, I, you know, as perhaps 50 or 60 or 70 percent of the uh, people in India believe that they can sing like Kishore Kumar. So I thought, okay, maybe I would either become a singer or I would become a writer. Now, the singer part, I very, very soon realized it's, uh, you know, a little bit too much. So writer is something let me try to be. And uh, uh, then, you know, and fortunately, one thing that uh, separates me from the rest of the Biharis in a way is that my parents were very supportive, you know, because if you don't get into IITs, jo dusra dharm hai ek Bihari ka, wo hai ki you have to crack UPSC, you know, and, <laughs> and you have to become an IS officer. My father, my parents never told me to do that. They said that, okay, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. And, that, and that's, that's one thing, you know, whatever, if I could break from the herd, it was because there were no, you know, shackles, at least from the parents. So uh, I, I told them that, okay, I want to 
write something, and most of the writers, novelists, I, uh, I figured out were at some point of time also working in media as a journalist. So I went, I uh, decided, you know, my, my actually my brother found out that for uh, journalism, there is an IA institute called IIMC in New Delhi, which is good, Indian Institute of Mass Communications. And I took the entrance exam, it was rather easy, and I, I got there. And uh, I thought that, okay, now I'm doing something, that's, that's, that's what I wanted. And uh, that was the time when new news channels also were coming. I got a job as well. Now there, after two years in journalism, I realized that <laughs> I'm just part of herd again. You know, I'm, uh, the, the journalists or the media, they are, uh, I mean, I, I, would, uh, I would digress and go into uh, ideological things, which I don't want to touch over here. But, you know, it's, it's the most herd mentality out there, actually. You know, they, they, they want conformity. Uh, any, any different point of view is actually not so, uh, you know, uh, encouraged and all that. L leaving that aside, and, and to be honest, I was not getting paid that well also. And I realized that it was just another job. You know, th all the good things about uh, journalism that I thought was not happening. And definitely I was not writing anything decent. I mean, you know, I, I was working for a news channel which was catering to Uttar Pradesh elections, uh, politics or news, whatever. And you would always have crime stories and those kind of things coming over there. And, you know, three people killed, that's all I would be writing daily. So that's not what I wanted. You know, that's not what Charles Dickens did. You know, <laughs> that's not what uh, the novels I, I studied. It was not about that. But more than that, as I told you, that... Uh, I, I felt very disillusioned that, you know, I have to again, that again came up that I have to break free, I have to explore, this is not something uh, that I again wanted to be. So, so the second phase of explore, exploration came and I started reading up random things, you know, which was not required part of my job and I decided to study, fur study further as well. I took CAT. Uh, my idea was that maybe I would land some, somewhere in my car and come back in media and do something more. Uh, I landed up at IIM Ahmedabad. And uh, there, I got into herd mentality again. You know, in, in, in the first semester, I don't know how it happened, but uh, some investment banker would come, very smart and all that, you know, with great English and all that. I still have that chip on my shoulders that I, I can't speak like them or, you know, look very... Uh, smart like them, I have a paunch now, so, you know, <laughs> I had no, no, nowhere I look like an investment banker, but I want, you know, you know, you go to New York, London, Hong Kong, and become an investment banker, so I was again in that rat, rat race, in, in that herd thing. Very soon I realized that neither I have the skills, nor the skin to be an investment banker. Uh, the only good thing was that maybe I could understand a little bit of maths, but that's not what makes you an investment banker, it's much more than that. Uh, so, my third phase of exploration started again. What do I do? Uh, so, uh, there, again to explore, I, I attended a class uh, thrown by a professor called Professor Sunil Handa uh, in IIM Ahmedabad. That, that uh, class was actually not part of our course. Now, Professor Handa is known to brainwash students into believing that entrepreneurship is the best thing. Uh, when I say brainwash, obviously, I don't mean that what he ultimately wants to teach you is wrong. But he gave this sense that you should do entrepreneurship. You should not be in the rat race of, you know, uh, campus placements and investment banks or this bank or consulting or that. Try, you know, create jobs. Try to be something of our own or, or, uh, and, you know, do something of your own. That impressed me very much. And I kind of wondered if entrepreneurship is what I wanted to do. I mean, you know, this, this whole belief that I want, I don't want to do what everyone else is doing is more or less very similar to entrepreneurship, you know, that uh, job is also everyone is going, you have a set uh, kind of uh, get guidelines and all that you have to do. So uh, I thought that, okay, let me try something, you know. I had, you know, the, the, the silly thing was that I had no idea what, what uh, businesses I would uh, uh, form or, or any innovations I, I had my, with myself, nothing like that, but I had to be an entrepreneur. That, that was my f uh, feeling. Now, uh, if you start a business, if you start a new thing, what do you need? Now, very stupidly, foolishly, 
B plan, right? You need a business plan. So where do you get a business plan? I had, I was not even participating in any any of those business plan contests that you know happens in MBA schools near uh, September, October, and all that. But a friend of mine and my dorm met or hostel met, who incidentally is an alumnus of Bits Pilani. Uh, he he had won a, a B plan. So with his B plan, which funnily was to set up an ethanol factory in Bihar, we went to Professor Handa. I am damn sure that Professor Handa would have said ki pagal hai ye. You know, but you know what he did? He gave us a good SUV uh, the next day on one of our weekends when we didn't have any classes or, uh, or anything. Uh, we went to Bardoli in Gujarat and we, uh, we saw how sugar cane is extracted because an ethanol factory is an, uh, very much works similar to a sugar cane. Not only that, uh, Nitish Kumar happened, uh, uh, currently Bihar Chief Minister and then also Bihar Chief Minister. He uh, visited our campus and he had some interaction with students from Bihar and we uh, happened to present uh, that plan to him about uh, an ethanol factory. And in those days, green fuels and all that were being talked about. Uh, <laughs> and you won't believe that uh, uh, in two months down the line, I was with the sugarcane minister here. Yeah, that, that was a ministry created by Nitish Kumar. Uh, I was with the sugarcane minister and I was, we were talking that how can we set up an ethanol factory. And he handed, you know, he even told that, okay, go meet that Babu, get that, uh, what you call, uh, land acquisition forms and all that. Uh, but obviously, we realized that, you know, where, is the, where will the capital come from? And our skills. What do we know about ethanol? At best, I had a gun, and I didn't know anything about it, which is like, you know, the, uh, about ethanol. And, and the capital, the skills, uh, how, how do you do that? But now in retrospect, we realize that, you know, that talking to a, a minister, talking to a chief minister, going and visiting in, uh, uh, in, in those factories, not only that, the pro Professor Handa called the chairman of uh, Renuka Sugar, and he put him on uh, uh, speakerphone, and he said that here are two guys wanting to do that. And he also said that, yeah, why, you can do it. Y you guys can do it, yeah, you know? So that gave us a lot of confidence. Uh, and we realized that, okay, if we are out there to achieve something, if we have some plan, there are people willing to uh, help you. But our first learning was obviously, we don't need a B plan, we need an idea. We need an idea which uh, our skills are there, which, which, which is not very capital intensive and which we can scale later on, which obviously you cannot start in a small ethanol factory and then think that it will become big. So what next? So I again started exploring and uh, because I was in journalism, I mean, uh, worked in TV channel and as you would uh, see that in, uh, you know, these news channels, every time they would say, desh ka mood kya hai? and all that. And, and UP elections were coming uh, in 2007 when uh, Mayavati was chief minister. So, uh, you know, what was this? It's basically trying to capture the sentiments. So I thought that uh, what exactly, is there a me any metrics that captures sentiments? And, you know, if you think about capturing sentiments, the first thing that comes to you is stock exchange. You know, I mean, uh, if, if there is any bad news or anything, the sensex falls, census goes up. Obviously, it's, uh, many of uh, that has got to do with financial performance as well. But it's mostly capturing sentiments. So I came with an idea that let's have a political stock exchange. You know, it's like a continuous desh ka mood kya hai. You invest in, uh, uh, and it was more of related to UP elections that Akhilesh Yadav ka kitna share badhega, Mayavati ka kitna share badhega, obviously all virtual thing. And it was, you know, because uh, my uh, friend, uh, the bits uh, uh, guy, he was a computer engineer, so he knew how to code it and all that. And I knew, uh, and I had some decent idea about how to promote it. <coughs> now, uh, no, so what is our next step? Uh, should we s simply do it? Now, there is one very good thing that Professor Handa had told, and maybe this is a uh, query that some of you planning to do your own uh, uh, entrepreneurship or a business might, might be having, 
is that one guy in that class asked that, sir, we are a little scared of discussing our ideas, ideas with people, that what if they steal it, right? Uh, how do we trust anyone with our ideas? Professor Honda said a very good thing, and you know, which I want to share with you, is that if somebody can steal your idea and implement it better than you, then let him steal it. You know, so because he once the idea is out there, he would any anyway know about it, and he would screw your initial investment, initial investment of money, uh, you know, energy and everything. So don't, so never bother about uh, discussing. Uh, I mean, never, uh, don't be so scared about discussing ideas because somebody may steal it. One, everyone is not so bad, and secondly, uh, you know, if somebody can really do it better, then let them. Uh, it's better that he does it. So we d we actually you know discuss this idea among our friends, and uh, that's where the you know uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys also learn a lot outside the class rather than inside the class. I mean, as well as inside the class, is <laughs> that uh, you know. So, so my friend said that okay, forget politics. Ye Mayavati and Akhilesh Yadav only because you were a journalist. It uh, I you find them very uh, you know. Uh, hot property, think about cricket. So 2007, you remember, 2007 World Cup was also there. So they said that, we, you know, you should create cricket stock exchange. And uh, we created that. Uh, so our first venture, in a way, uh, what in a way, it was cricket stock exchange. Uh, 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 it's a virtual gaming website where you could trade shares of, you know, Dendulkars, Shoaib Akhtars, and all that. And it was in the run-up to the 2007 World Cup. Now it created a lot of, you know, news. Uh, uh, we got a lot of free publicity actually, uh, because uh, at that time, uh, in news, uh, I am Ahmedabad salaries was also being discussed. You know, some some of our batchmates had got a pre-placement figure of something. You know, obviously some of some of it is exaggerated. Not exactly exaggerated, but it's not what you get into cash every every year. But for normal people, obviously, it's like everyone is making minting money. So, so you know, so, so the news was that, okay, he, and Sensex was also booming at that time. So the news was that, okay, there are some guys of I'm Ahmedabad who are, not with, uh, who are opting out of placements and doing this thing. So even now, if you Google about, you know, cricket, cricket stock exchange and maybe either my name or your alumnus name, Kartik Lakshman, you would get a lot of, uh, you know, news reports that was uh, there in, in uh, those times. And we got an offer from a leading, uh, news channel, a national news channel, that they will create a show out of it. Uh, so, you know, so they would have a half an hour show where this uh, Sandeep Patil, or Sunil Gavaskar, or whoever they call them uh, to the studios, Kapil Devs, they will become stock analysts and say, are you perform not right? then you will share it, share You know, so in essence, we thought that we are, we are off to a flying start. You know, our first idea, we have, we have coded it, the website is live, we had, uh, Thousands, I mean, uh, on within two or three days, we had 10,000 registered members. In those days, it was big. Even today, it's big. Uh, Pakistanis also were registering. And we got a, uh, uh, you know, offer from a news channel, and they paid us a licensing fee also. So that was very important. You know, when you have a rather decent check in your hand, and rest of your, uh, guy, you know, batchmates are still studying or preparing for the campus placements. So that are, uh, was our first uh, success, little success that we tasted. And we thought that our entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial career is off to a flying start. Now, Kajal was talking earlier that there are some things that's not be in your control. And if you, uh, I'm pretty sure many of uh, guys here know about cricket. And if you remember 2007 cricket, Perhaps you don't want to remember. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in India and Pakistan both were kicked out in first round itself. Uh, I think uh, we lost to Bangladesh or Ireland or someone. Yeah. So this news channel, they said we are not going to make this mo uh, you know program because nobody wants to talk about cricket. Cricket is dead. Now what? And in the meantime, although it was a very short time, what we had done which was going against the teachings of Professor Honda, was that the money that we got, we used that money to pay off our educational loans. 
so we were left with no money in 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 that case in, in you know in that sense and the product was not being backed by the biggest partner that we thought we had captured obviously the news channel didn't ask the money back because not uh, making a show out of it was their executive decision it, it it can't impact what they have already done so you know this is also the one of the important lessons that uh, i learned uh, which professor handa taught but life taught in a <laughs> more uh, uh, har harsher way was that if you are an entrepreneur your life is always going to be in debt and we coming from middle class families are you know first trying to be first generation entrepreneurs we don't like the word debt kurz na you don't want anything on your head obviously right now when now i'm paying a lot of emis uh, so so you know so so debt is definitely something you cannot run away from if you want to do something of your own now we got another offer from a company uh, some us based company who wanted to buy that website uh, out the cricket stock exchange i was uh, of the feeling uh, my, i go by mostly by gut feeling uh, and i had told my teammates that let's stick with it cricket cannot be uh, you know it, in this country cricket cannot die some day or the other it will come back let's stick with it but they were thinking that no we have already used our money we need some money and there is an offer of buy out let's sell it out we sold it off because uh, i couldn't have superseded everyone else we were three partners uh, so okay again we got the money but i was left with uh, no property no product and then that's where i decided you know i was exploring again what to do uh, learning from my earlier failures that uh, what should be done what should not be done and uh, this time i decided to go solo and that's when i founded it was just a, a very impulsive decision i founded i i, I saw that whether this domain faking news uh, uh, was available or not i was i was not sure because it's you know two very common words but i could get it fakingnews.com i registered i started writing even though while i was a journalist or earlier i had never written a piece of satire at all in fact in yeah in those uh, two years that i spent on campus there was one uh, piece that that was of satire that i had tried and which was liked by my batchmates but never ever uh, never uh, had i written a satire again so i needed some you know feedback some honest thing uh, uh, honest feedback whether i'm doing the uh, things uh, rightly or not so that's why i started anonymously nobody knew i was i was uh, running uh, faking news and it started gaining popularity you know i uh, i would always target things that would interest uh, engineering guy or an mba guy or the media and regularly one or one or the other things would be uh, you know they, they would go viral and uh, it it became you know back back in 2011 12 uh, it it was a big hit not, i'm not saying it's flop now but uh, yeah it's definitely it, the potential that it has it uh, couldn't uh, achieve that also i'll come to uh, later but uh, you know i i again again i had a property but how to monetize it uh, i had a product it was uh, doing well do i again go to a news channel say let's have a satirical show like a daily show or something uh, or th there could be something else so uh, you know uh, and also i was getting old i just told you i'm getting 38 i got married also you know <laughs> and even though my uh, wife never said that okay you need to earn i started feeling uh, feeling the pressure and during an uh, at the same time uh, email landed in my inbox from uh, a chief executive of one of the media's company saying they want to buy out fake news so i needed money i uh, uh, you know and and uh, although i i could have gone for investments as, as then i started exploring with other media companies and then i was in final talks with two or three media companies and finally i went ahead with network 18 network 18 i went uh, uh, with because i saw them very entrepreneurial you know Th that little first post team that I had unfortunately network 18 was acquired by reliance so a, a lot of bureaucracy came in and i got bored again and then again i thought okay let me explore and then i started you know another website which uh, uh, you know currently it was again acquired in a, uh, uh, all equity deal with uh, swaraj magazine uh, so you know this is my kind of a, 
a story that uh, every three or four, third or fourth year, I start believing that, okay, I am doing something that I have to break, break away from. And uh, necessary to do that, uh, uh, you, you know, in order, if you want to do that, is, is the most important thing is that you start doing something uh, that you, you wouldn't have done otherwise. Even if there is no requirement for that, you start doing, start exploring, see what interests you. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, I don't want to sound like that three idiot guy, but money does follow, you know, even though I didn't, didn't go out looking for it, uh, the product was right and the money came in. I, 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 I can, in retrospect, I have done uh, decently monetary wise also. So uh, perhaps to end, we started with uh, bits go uh, one Rahul Roshan zero. So perhaps there is one one when I end this talk. Thank you.